Hello everyone, today we will discuss about mutual information and its properties. For studying about mutual information, consider a discrete memoryless channel with input symbol X and output symbol Y. We know that H of X is the prior uncertainty about the channel input and H of X given Y be the uncertainty about the channel input after observing the channel output Y. Now mutual information is defined as the difference between h of x and h of x given y. That is mutual information is designated as i of x semicolon y. h of x i of x y equal to h of x minus h of x given y. So we know that h of x is very much high compared to h of x given y. Thus, mutual information i of x y is the uncertainty about the channel input that is resolved by observing the channel output or it is the average amount of information gained from the channel or in other words, mutual information is the average amount of information transferred through this particular channel. Now we will look at the properties of mutual information. One is i of x y equal to i of y x. That means mutual information of a channel is symmetric. Second property is i of x y greater than or equal to zero. That means mutual information is non-negative. We know that generally you will gain some information about the channel input if you observe the channel output. So the second property says that even on a noisy channel, you will not lose any information by observing the output of the channel. At most, mutual information may be zero, which indicates that you don't gain any information by observing the output of the channel. And this happens when the input and output symbols of the channel are statistically independent. Mutual information is related to the entropies h of x and h of y and the joint entropy h of x y as per the following relationship. That is i of x y equal to h of x plus h of y minus h of x y. Mutual information is also called trans information and the unit is given by bits per symbol. Now we will prove each properties of mutual information. We know that the entropy of the channel input can be written as sigma i equal to 1 to n p of x i log 1 by p of x i. From the previous class, we also derived it as sigma i equal to 1 to n sigma j equal to 1 to m p of xi yj log 1 by p of xi. That is, uh, the margin entropy h of x is the double summation of joint probability multiplied by logarithm of 1 by p of x i. Now from the definition of a mutual information we know that i of x y equal to h of x minus h of x given y. So this can be written as h of x is double summation i equal to 1 to n sigma i j equal to 1 to m p of x i y j log 1 by p of x i minus h of x given y is again double summation i equal to 1 to n sigma j equal to 1 to m p of x i y j log 1 by p of x i given y j. This can be written as double summation i equal to 1 to n sigma j equal to 1 to m p of x i y j log p of x i given y j divided by p of x i. We know that from base theorem p of a given b equal to p of b given a into p of a divided by p of b. By applying same concept we can write p of xi given yj as p of yj given xi into p of xi divided by p of yj. So equation number 1 can be written as now 1 can be 
चुटना ई ऑफ एक्स वै ईक्वल टू डबल समेन ई ईक्वल टू वन टू एम सिग्म जे ईक्वल टू वन टू एम पी ऑफ एक्स वाई जे लोग पी ऑफ वाई जे गिवन एक्स इंटू पी ऑफ एक्स डिवेड बै पी ऑफ वै जे इंटू पी ऑफ एक्स सो दिस विल कैंसल सो फैनली यू कैन रईट इट सिग्मा ई ईक्वल टू वन टू एम सिग्मा जे ईक्वल टू वन टू एम पी ऑफ एक्स वै जे लोग पी ऑफ वै जे गिवन एक्स डिवेड बै पी ऑफ वै जे सो दिस् कैन अगेन बी रिटन एस सिग्मा ई ईक्वल टू वन टू एम सिग्मा जे ईक्वल टू वन टू एम पी ऑफ एक्स वै जे लोग वन बै पी ऑफ वै जे माइनस सिग्मा डबल समेन पी ऑफ एक्स वै जे लोग वन बै पी ऑफ फै जे गिवन एक्स सो दिस् कैम रिटन एस सो दिस् वी नो दैट एच ऑफ वै माइनस दिस् वि एच ऑफ वै गिवन एक्स सो दिस् वि ईक्वल टू ई ऑफ वै एक्स हेन्स द प्रूफ second property is mutual information is non negative again we will start from the basic definition i of xy i of xy equal to double summation i equal to 1 to n j equal to 1 to m p of xi yj log p of xi given yj divided by p of x y so this obtained from the basic definition that is h of x minus h of x given y okay so this is again equation number 1 we know that p of a b equal to p of a given b into p of b right so or p of a given b equal to p of ab divided by p of b so using same concept uh, here p of xi given yj equal to p of xi yj divided by p of yj so this is equation number 2 Now we'll apply equation two on equation number one. That is, I of x y equal to sigma i equal to one to n sigma j equal to one to m p of x i y j log p of x i y j divided by p of x i into p of y j. Now we will apply the log inequality. Log inequality is ln 1 by x greater than or equal to 1 minus x. So in order to apply log inequality, you need to convert this uh, logarithm to the base 2 to uh, the ln function. For that, we know that log 2x equal to log 2e into ln x. Now the equation number 3. This can be the equation number 3, and equation 3 can be uh, written like this. log 2e sigma i equal to 1 to n sigma j equal to 1 to m p of x i y j ln p of x i y j divided by p of x i into p of y j again now we, we apply the log inequality so you will get it as greater than or equal to log 2e double summation i equal to 1 to n j equal to 1 to m p of x i y j Into one minus p of x i into p of y j divided by p of x i y j. So here we can say that so ln this is ln one by x. This is ln one by x. So x is p of x i into p of y j divided by p of x i y j. So that's why I wrote like this. Now this can be written as So we know that double summation p of x i y j is uh, one, and uh, for each i and j, 
this denominator term will cancel with the numerator term and summation p of xi will be equal to 1 summation uh, p of yj will also will, will be equal to 1 so this will be this will becomes log 2e sigma okay that that we solved so 1 minus 1 this will be 0 so greater than or equal to 0 so that is i of xy greater than or equal to 0 third property is i of xy equal to h of x plus h of y minus h of xy for proving this property we will start with h of xy h of xy equal to summation i equal to 1 to n sigma j equal to 1 to m p of xi yj log 1 by p of xi yj so this equation number 1 is rewritten like this so by adding additional terms p of x i into p of i j and uh, removing the effect of p of x i and p of i j uh, used this term. So this term is used for removing the effect of p of x i into p of i j. Equation 2 can be rewritten like this. So sigma double summation p of x i y j log 1 by p of x i into p of i j can be written as that is split p of x i y j log 1 by p of x i plus double summation i j p of x i y j log 1 by p of yj okay now uh, so can you identify this particular equation the first term of this particular equation so this already we know from the last property the last property we have from equation number three i of xy is double summation uh, p of xi yj log p of xi yj by p of xi into p of yj so if you compare the first term of equation number 3 with uh, this equation, this equation, you can find it as, this is actually the reciprocal, right? So, this can be written as minus of i of x, y. So, what we got? We have h of x, y equal to minus of i of x, y plus, so this we know that this is h of x and this is h of y. So, h of x plus h of y or i of x y equal to h of x plus h of y minus h of x y. Now, graphically I will try to give a concept of uh, uh, different entropies. Let this will be h of x. So I'm drawing something with overlap with h of x. This is h of y. Now this overlapping region we'll call it as i of x y. Then this will be this will be h of y given x. This will be h of x given y. Both will be h of x y now from this figure it is clear that i of x y is h of x minus h of x given y or h of y minus h of y given x that is h of x y is or h i of x y is h of x minus h of x given y Now please do a homework problem. Uh, already we know that h of x is greater than or equal to h of x y. By using fundamental definition, prove that h of x greater than or equal to h of x given y. Thank you.